You know, there's this story of Mother Teresa on one of his, her visits to Australia encountered this young man who lived in a small house. And Mother Teresa visited him and um, requested that, that she would love to clean his house for him. But the guy said to Mother Teresa, I'm all right. Um, but Mother Teresa insisted um, telling him that if she, he allowed her to clean the house, he would be more right. After much insistence, the young man allowed Mother Teresa to clean the house. While cleaning the house, she discovered that there was a lamp at the corner of the house covered with dust and that when Mother Teresa asked the young man if he lights up the lamp, the young man told her, for whom no one visits me. At that point, Mother Teresa asked him if he would be okay if the sisters visited him. And he, uh, he said yes. So from that point, the sisters always visited the young man every evening and the light, the lamp never went off. It was always lit. But at some point, after a while, uh, the young man sent a message through the sisters to Mother Teresa, telling her, saying, tell Sister Teresa that the light which she lit is the burning in my heart. My dear friends, today is the fourth Sunday of Lent. Today, Christ in the Gospel cured a young man of his blindness and at that point lightened up his life. But what is interesting in that passage is that the people overlooked the encounter that brought a new life to the young man and focused on who could be responsible for the blindness. You know, there's no longer individual or personal responsibility or that openness for a personal encounter. But Jesus cured the young man and brought new life, new light to him. So I ask you, my friends, that there are lamps in your lives that needs an encounter to help us clean it in order to lighten up our lives, to lighten up our hearts. Are we looking for someone else to blame for not allowing the light in our lives to be lit? The young man didn't think he needed that light to shine for himself. He was waiting for a visit to discover the beauty in the lamp that was just lying hidden at the corner of the house. Today also is the second scrutiny for the candidates um, in which the candidates rise up and expose whatever keeps the transforming love of God from liberating all forms of oppression in their lives and in our lives. What about you? What about me? Which areas in our lives needs that cleaning, that encounter? Which areas in our lives can we open up to the transforming power of God? He's there willing to encounter us, neglecting what people will think or say, neglecting the questions that they will ask and focusing on us and giving us the opportunity to encounter him so that he can lighten up our lives, our hearts, and show us the way to the Father. God bless you.